October 8th, 2011. Last week we dropped pound 0.8 and the goal every week is 1.5 pounds in decimal 8 percent body fat right now or we're going to have a major consequence at the end. So this scale, for me to avoid the consequence, this scale has to read 160.3. So, moment of truth. Let's find out here. 160.3. Ready? Here we go. Oh, save by the bell. One six zero. The uh, the thing that I really blew this week more than anything is I had ten uh, cardio appointments of eight minutes each, and I ended up procrastinating. Ended up leaving many of them, literally five of them, to yesterday, and uh, and we have to do a sixth one right now, don't we? I love it. Better than the smell of napalm in the morning. It's a little high intensity cardio. <sighs> oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <sighs> oh, we're having fun. <sighs> oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, you find out what you're made of doing this stuff. Oh. Now we're talking. Separate men from the boys here. I just love it. I wish I could do more of this. This is my favorite exercise. I live for this. I wish on the days I'm not doing it that I did have more of it. Because I love it so much. Slow it down. That's, it. That's better. Good, good, good. I love that feeling. All the muscle growth is beyond failure. You go to the gym, you watch people stop right where it's starting to hurt. They're like, oh, it's starting to hurt, and they stop. The first nine reps where the lactic acid buildup is burning, and you know, go into more detail about that, but when you're starting to feel the pain, that's just breaking down your muscle, getting you to zero. It's every rep after it's excruciating that the muscle build happens. Because okay, so the goal this week, I gotta lose one pound of uh, weight. I got to drop three millimeters of fat off different parts of the body in terms of it could be one, 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 or three off the belly, but it's got to be a total of three millimeters. And uh, as you saw earlier, I was doing uh, some running and I realized I'm not doing high intensity enough at home. <laughs> I'm doing like medium intensity at home, I'm doing like mitts, medium intensity interval training. So I got to increase that. But uh, you know, it's interesting. Spending the time with Tom, it's, uh, it really is iron sharpens iron. And uh, if you're out there watching this, one of the keys is honest to goodness, get an excellent coach. Get somebody who's watching you because I can't watch myself doing it, but when I see it on video, I see where my form is sloppy. And it might even be just the value of um, having another pair of eyes on you. The best performers in the world, the best athletes in the world always have a second pair of eyes. They've always got a coach watching them. It doesn't matter if you're Michael Jordan or Wayne Gretzky. You need a coach to see your blind spots. The inherent nature of a blind spot is you can't see it. And if your form is sloppy, if you're kind of coming out not doing it properly, having that coach there can be the difference between moderate performance and excellent results.